The tech company Apple was officially founded on April 1st, 1976 by the two Steves, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, aka Woz. The two Steves were both college dropouts and they decided together that they wanted to create a user-friendly computer, so they decided to create the Apple. The first computer that the two created was called the Apple I, which they actually created in Jobs' garage, and they made about 200 computers and sold almost all of them. After the Apple I came out, they released the Apple II, which was an upgrade of the Apple I, including many features, including first ever color graphics on a computer, and this computer sold way better than the Apple I, selling five to six million devices. However, after the Apple II was released, Wozniak had to leave the company because in 1983, his plane crashed, and he was left with memory loss, which would not be regained until much later. Because Wozniak left the company, Jobs decided to hire a new partner to run the company for him. Jobs hired John Scully from PepsiCo to run the company so that he could focus on other projects. However, Jobs' decision to hire Scully backfired on him a couple years later when Scully ousted him from the company. Jobs was ousted from the company due to his tendency to push his way into projects he wasn't leading and changing their whole process, and this started to get on people's nerves, and so he was forced to leave the company in 1985. However, Jobs, being the inventor that he was, was not idle while he was out of the company. While he was away from Apple, Jobs founded Next Software and also bought Pixar from George Lucas. Meanwhile, under the leadership of Scully, Apple started to go downhill real fast without Jobs at the helm. Apple's market share dropped tremendously from 1990 to 1996. On the brink of collapse, Apple bought out Next Software, along with its founder, Steve Jobs, bringing him back to the company. Being back at Apple, Jobs became the CEO and managed to bring Apple back to prominence with the release of the iBook, which today would be the laptop, iPod, and finally the company's most successful venture ever, the iPhone. Steve Jobs died on October 5th, 2011, after losing his battle with pancreatic cancer. Today, Apple is under the direction of the CEO, Tim Cook. Through the leadership of Jobs and his incredible salesman skills, Apple is today valued at over $750 billion. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, then click on the link down in the left corner. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, because I'll be coming out with new videos as soon as I can get them made, just click on that tab down below. I'll see you guys on the next video.